Are you talking to someone specifically, or is it a, is it a group of people? What's what? What is her name? Hi, Jillian. Now, is she completely deaf or just impaired? I am fully deaf. Can she, can she read lips? I can, but I uh, don't admit it. <laughs> okay, all right, so she can read lips. Don't sign this. No, no, not, don't sign, don't sign me saying don't sign it. God damn it. Some people be faking this. Don't sign this. <laughs> There's a man, two seats to her right, wearing a white hat. I want you to scream in her ear as loud as you can. And if she reacts, this bitch is lying. She was so unfazed, too, just... <laughs> like, she smelled your breath before she heard you. Like, how crazy is that? Are you deaf, too? I am deaf. Double dose of deaf! Let's go, dude! What? Now it's even more fucked up, because he leaned across her to yell at the other girl, dude. That's even worse, man. Oh, man, we should have played telephone. <laughs> Tell her I love her. He loves you. Mm. <laughs> so what, what's the friend's name? Yeah, my name is Lauren. Lauren, pleasure to meet you. Are you specific? It's, it's okay, they can't hear you clapping, so don't even, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Dude, I would love to hook up with a deaf girl, dude. That'd be so much fun. Jerk you off with a short story, you know what I mean? Just fucking, once upon a time, there was a... I'm about to come and I'm like... Were you up here the whole time? Was there another sign language interpreter? Oh man, y'all really deaf. Y'all need two people? God damn, dude. Oh, what up, man? Oh man, you look like a lesbian, dog. God damn. <laughs> sign that to them. <laughs> he wasn't gonna sign the joke made about him. How shitty is that, dude? Nah, let him hear this shit, bro. Oh, there's a sign language interpreter. Is, is, is there a specific person you're signing to, or is it just in case? Justin Kate, are you serious? <laughs> so there's nobody like officially deaf up there, right? We bought her tickets. We did buy her tickets. Bought whose tickets? The deaf woman. The deaf woman? <laughs> Hold on, a deaf person was supposed to be here and you bought the tickets from her? Wow. Was she happy about it or did you rob her blind too? <laughs> she, she what? She's in the hospital? Oh. That's so funny that they made you come to work still. And nobody, babe, you can put your hands in your pockets. Nobody's deaf. Like, it's, it's okay. Fucking take a seat. Enjoy the rest of the show. You'll we'll be all right. You want something positive? Was that English? I'm deaf. You're what? Sounds like it. Are you actually deaf? Um, she's my introvert. You know, you know what's crazy about this right now? At the first show tonight, there was a sign language interpreter up there, and I asked, I was like, which... Somebody tell her I'm talking. I don't talk! Somebody... This is a fucking insane circumstance, because the first show, and I always, I always ask them, I, I want to I know who they're talking to, I always ask, like, is, like, are you here for one person or like, a group of people? It's usually one person who's either just hearing impaired or completely deaf, right? So I asked her, I go, who are, you, who are you signing for? And a couple yelled out, they go, there was supposed to be a deaf girl here, but we bought her tickets from her. 
There was no deaf person up there whatsoever. And she kept signing the entire show. I'm so sorry there's not like an official interpreter here. Is it? Her interpreter's at the end of the aisle. That's my mom. Oh, mom, how you doing, mom? Can I give you something? Is it chlamydia? <laughs> Can I have it? What is that? Oh, it's a little box. What's in here? Dude, what if it's her ear? <laughs> There's a note. Oh, it's in Braille. Oh. There's a little necklace in here. What, what, what is this? It's an eagle. It's an eagle? You're a fucking eagle. <laughs> I'm an eagle. Thank you so much. And you're a deaf leopard. <laughs> oh man, I thought she would, because we've already dealt with so many random people yelling out bullshit when she was like, I'm deaf. I was like, okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what is happening right now? What is it? What is it? Paramedic. Paramedic. Oh, paramedic. Is there a paramedic on the balcony? Is there a Narcan? Does anybody have Narcan? You have some? Before we get, before we even attempt to go back into this thing, can I get one more round of applause for all the paramedics, the cops, everybody who stepped in? Oh, man. Can one person, can got yeah, oh, I forgot there was a spotlight, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought that was God saying I was next for a second. I was like, oh shit. One person who was up there, what, what happened? Overdose? Overdose? Well, I'm glad he's all right. I hope he doesn't come back in here and ask for a picture. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? When I heard a commotion up there, how wild and ridiculous some of these shows get, like they're not even fun for me. My first instinct was, oh, people are fighting in the balcony. <laughs> That happens all the time, dude. Thank God it was just a dude fighting himself. <laughs> he didn't look like an older guy either. He looked probably like, what, early 30s, something like that? Wait, he was, old, was he older? Oh, well then he, yeah, you should be doing drugs. You know what I mean? After, after 70, I'm trying everything. Heroin, crack, dick, all of it, dude. Whatever. Whatever I haven't put into my body yet, you know what I mean? Well, man, imagine you 88 years old, you're like, I'll try a dick, and you love it. You're gonna be like, fuck! I could have been having so much fun! Can I get it in a prescription? <laughs> also, where'd she go? You're not deaf, I know you hear me. I know you hear me right now. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad, I know you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I saw this. Don't fucking... Uh, he, stuck, he stuck it in there. Actually, where, where is the other uh, sign language interpreter? She went to the bathroom? Okay. God. She in there talking shit? Does anybody else know sign language? Do you really? Like, fully? Your parents are deaf? Is he bullshitting? <laughs> Both of your parents are deaf? Um, three. Three? <laughs> are you deaf? What do you mean, what do you mean three? You have three parents? Oh, mom, dad, and stepdad. And they're all deaf? Wow. Have they ever been to a comedy show, ever? No, uh, they don't get comedy as well as hearing. They don't get comedy? Yeah. It's fine. I do put subtitles on all my TikToks, so it's not really an excuse. But... Did you ever, be honest, did you ever use it to your advantage? Like, did you ever, did you ever sneak out the house and just slam the door or something? <laughs> They can feel the vibrations? What are they, Native American? Jesus Christ. Nice. 
There's a man ODing in the balcony. What? She's back! What up, girl? Did you wash your mouth, hands? Did you wash your hands? I wanted to ask him, but I didn't want him to have to do three jobs at once. Um, I wanted to ask, like, what, what makes you get into learning sign language? We, we, we just met one young, one woman who, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot, you're 40. We met one woman who's her, all three of her parents are deaf. Don't ask. It's, is there a specific person here that's supposed to be, that you're, that you're signing to? They're, are they completely deaf or just impaired? She's hard of hearing. She heard you. <laughs> this is my security in case any of y'all on your Will Smith shit right now. I feel like getting offended and running up on stage. Keep my wife's name out your fucking hands. Cause yeah, never mind, whatever. That's such a cool skill, man. This looks like you solve an imaginary Rubik's cube. <laughs> Just killing shit. Is uh anybody gay? <laughs> anybody at all? Anybody? Anybody in the vicinity? <laughs> I know you good with your hands, dog. Oh, I know it, dog. I know it. <laughs> this man will jerk you off with a poem. <laughs> You're so sweet. I've just never been in this position before. This is so much fun. <laughs> Oh, the sacrifice. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> did, <laughs> did my interpreter just get gentrified? I don't understand. <laughs> who, um, who, who are you signing for? I, did, I, don't, I didn't even know. Um, I'm not sure. She said back <laughs> no, it is not you, bitch. You've been here in the whole show for sure. You make us wish we were all deaf, to be honest. Uh, you don't sound deaf at all. You sound, this just seems so extra. What was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Great to meet you, Nicole. How did you, um, how did you hear about the show? Um, fuck. No, 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 no. Nice to meet you guys. This is so exciting. Thanks for coming. I just, I just wanted to know. Sounds like you don't need to be here, to be honest. Let's right? yeah. so everybody be nice. Especially you feisty. I like your energy a lot. I'll come back there and take your fucking batteries out. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'll turn, I'll turn you off. All right. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill the fuck out, man. If I have her sign something, will you relay it verbally? Oh, sure. Yes. All right. Yes, she will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know this was deaf comedy jam, did you? You didn't know. <laughs> Is she completely deaf? Yep. I can't hear anything. She can't hear anything? No. Ah! <laughs> Is that fucked up? <laughs> Is that wrong? Alright, alright, don't, don't, don't sign this one. Don't sign, no, don't fucking tell her that you're not gonna sign it. 
No, don't read my lips. No. <laughs> Bitch. She's deaf, she didn't hear shit. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. How do I say nice to meet you in sign language? Cut her hearing aids off with the scissors. I got it. I fucking got it. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, what's up, my man? I didn't even see you here. How you doing, brother? Doing good. How do you, man, the fact that you could hear better than her is insane to me, dude. How, how old are you? 73? Holy shit, man. Oh, my God. Did you, did you fight for the South or the North? What, what is your name, brother? Bob. Pleasure to meet you, Bob. You're, uh, you're, you're retired now? What did you used to do? What was it? Sold carpet. Yeah, nobody really shaved back then, huh? The good old days, huh, Bob? Where are you from, brother? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio? I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, man. Oh, nice. Bob, who, who are you here with today, Bob? My son and daughter. Son and daughter? Pleasure to meet you guys. Your dad's fucking awesome, man. He is awesome. 73? Holy shit. How long you been in the chair for? How long? 13 years. It's nice to just relax, isn't it? <laughs> Optimism. Optimism Prime. <laughs> Transformers, Bob. It's a cartoon that they turn into a movie. The movie's inconsistent. You're not missing anything. You you drug you drug them out the house to this. Oh my God! We Thank love you. Who said that? Who said they love Bob? Give him some pussy. Good. We're gonna put that dick in a splint. <laughs> We're just gonna. Oh, did it? Yeah, you wouldn't know that, would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fraud, I can hear it. You're speaking in bourbon right now. That's a bourbon, you get it right. Is it really? Oh, yeah. well, you can be annoying in Mexican, too. <laughs> Well, that's loyalty. It sounds like if, he should, if he's fucking anybody, he should be the mother of his child, no? Am I crazy for this one? It kind of sounds like you break up a family. He's still in his house with his wife and his baby. The audacity of this man to live happily ever after. What's the problem? He doesn't fuck with her? No, he said he don't fuck with her, but he's lying. I think he's lying. Yes, he's lying. <laughs> That's what we call a blatant lie. I mean, maybe he, should be he shouldn't be dating you on the side if he is actually interested in her. I will say that. How long have you been seeing him for? Four months. Four months? That's tough. That's, that, this, you know what, this is a little too early to be having this many red flags, to be honest. Like, this big of a problem this early on in the relationship, it, it might not work out. So I, my best advice would be to either, I'd say, break up with them or also get pregnant. Play this bitch's game, okay? Oh, that's hot. Damn. How are they? Yeah, it sounds like you do something.
something very well that she doesn't. Like raise her child? <laughs> Maybe, you might, be, you might be the best mom for this situation, I don't know. Man, this is the coolest episode of Dr. Phil I've ever been on. <laughs> This shit is all over the place. By the way, this isn't normally how this crowd work goes. Usually someone will be like, ah, you know, they have, I don't know, they have fucking, they wear flip-flops or something silly, but y'all like, no, my life is in pieces. What's your name, bro? Corey. Corey? It's a very white name. Um, it's short for something. It's, it's short for something? What's it short for? Only it's still very white. Even what it's short for is white? It's Cornelius. Cornelius? <laughs> What? Bro, you can't even say the N-word, if I'm being honest. You can't. You don't get to say it. Cornelius! Ain't that the motherfucker from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Who's like, Silver! <laughs> Dog, your credit score is 900. Shut up. Oh my god. It throws them for a loop. It, does, it throws everybody for a loop. <laughs> How many job interviews have you gotten over the phone? <laughs> I, I've never been, I've never been declined. You've never been declined? That's why, enjoy white privilege, Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't so bad, right? It's kinda cool. <laughs> I fuck with you, Corey. My dude. What do you do for work? I work for the water authority. Did you go to college for that? Nope. You didn't go to college? There's the black. I, <laughs> I did go to school for a little bit to be a cop, though. You went to school to be a cop? A Back bad. to white. <laughs> Interesting. And why'd you, why'd you bow out? Politics, and I was a better criminal. <laughs> I asked him why he stopped going to training to be a cop. And he goes, politics, and I was a better criminal. Back to black. Who are you, Cornelius? <laughs> You're a mystery, bro. I feel like if we smoke together, I'll be like, are you even really here? Firefighter. What do you have against heroes? Wild lamp. Oh, you mean the ones who saved the earth? Are you kidding me? Why is that the red flag? They're all sluts. They're all sluts. I hope you burn to death. I hope, I hope, I hope you call 911. You're like, help, there's a fire. He's like, can't help you. Busy being a slut. <laughs> did you, did you, was that? Only firefighters. Only firefighters. Yeah. How, how many firefighters have you dated? Honestly? Yes. <laughs> the whole station? Or the whole station? <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> I hope your Twitter name is Ladder69. <laughs> Right <laughs> you did a firefighter too? I got the text messages. Oh shit, alright, well, drop the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you want to airplay some text messages like that? They're aggressively creepy. Like, well, I called you a good girl. I called you a good girl. That's, 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 that's kind of hot. Two women already. I feel like firefighters are getting hella ass in Portland. <laughs> what, 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 was, what was your experience? You just didn't, you didn't like him coming on that strong? Yeah, I gave him my number, but then mm -hmm. after a while, I was like, no, Where'd you meet him at? I didn't meet him. You what? <laughs> well, how did you give him your number? Tinder. Tinder. Bitch, that's the red flag. <laughs> you, know, you know what the irony is? The Tinder logo is fire. Sorry you had that experience with that probably fun guy. <laughs>
there you are. Yeah, you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I looked over, I was like, there's an empty chair there. I was like, where'd she go? You were taking a shit, it's fine. It's fine, no one's gonna have a Oh, I'm embarrassing you! In front of everybody. Okay, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday Adam, you just got it. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. I'm just fucking with you. I love you. I love you too. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure in the bathroom that I look good for you. That's it. You were just making sure in the bathroom that you look good for me? Yeah. Do a double take. <laughs> Can I tell you you look pretty just to make you feel better? First of all, you never need a man to tell you you look beautiful. So no. No, you, you look great. You look great. You. Yes, I mean it. We're just like we're gonna meet out in the back. No. no. I love you too. You're very sweet. Yeah. Yes. I love watching you. Oh man. I wish you would love listening to me. You look so good. One of us has to. I'm kidding. You guys can't steal my side of the room. She, she is very beautiful. Is she your birthday? That explains it. <laughs> How old are you turning? 21. 21? That explains it. Would you like the wrist, man? Come here. guys you know. Um, yeah, it's happened to a lot of my friends. You're saying it happened like they forced magic upon me. And I don't, I don't think that's the case. Unless they fucking put them in that box that they're supposed to saw them in half, or like, now you stuck. That's, that, that, that's problematic. That's incredible. You know how many dates I go on where I'm like, fuck, what do we talk about next? I wish this bitch would pull a fucking seven of hearts out from behind her ear or something. I guess I have gone on a date with a girl one time, and about a month later, she made a baby disappear. So, ta-da! I'm originally from Columbus.
Columbus, Ohio. I don't know if anybody's ever made that mistake. You said Ohio, you from Ohio? It just sounds funny. Wait for the rest of the show. You're gonna lose your fucking mind. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't know geography got you off like that. My bad. Check this out. Tallahassee. More syllables. You what? <laughs> Where are you from? Mexico City. Mexico City? Nice. You live here now or are you just yes. hiding? Or... <laughs> fucking awesome. No, that's so cool. I fucking love Mexico, man. I get all my coke from there. You guys do a really good job. Just doing it. Fantastic. What, uh, how long, how long have you been here? You don't know, Sid. Yeah, no, no, you don't speak English. No, I'm not English. Mm. Suspicioso. <laughs> There's no way that's a word. <laughs> and cancel. Great. Shut the show off. So her red flag is she dated the nicest guy of all time. <laughs> After the second date you went on with a guy, he built you a Build-A-Bear? That's cute as fuck. <laughs> Two dates, five. I hope you get no more gifts for the end of time. You're so ungrateful. Oh my God, I'm gonna love a Build-A-Bear. Are you kidding me? <sighs> $50? Why do you have a problem with guys being nice to you? <laughs> When's the last time you spoke to him? Let's see if this is reasonable. When's the last time you checked the bear? Good question. <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> Just in the middle of the night, she hears. <laughs> yeah, it's a little creepy. Yeah, all right, it's, it's, it's a little creepy. Was that the last guy you went on a date with? Fuck, I'm sorry. I hope the next one gets you a black eye or something you can really, something you can appreciate. You know? I can't believe I just said that into a microphone. Oh, like that's, that's so fucking Florida. Oh my god. Just turn these lights on. Turn the house lights on. Right now. Light her up right now. Who said more? What about what what? What about me? I'm too cocky. Well, imagine I was like a timid comedian, and I was like, you guys, you guys ever have your your, your grandpa fuck, fuck a flashlight? Confidence is like so key. You know what I mean? Like especially to delivery. You know. Hey, I, I come quick like everybody else, okay? I'm just, I'm simply human, you know? <laughs> uh, was that it? Was, is, it is it ego thing, you think? No. No? You changed your answer. What is, what is it now? Huh? She told you not to do it. She told you not to do it? You should listen to your friends. <laughs> No. <laughs> so please, nobody give me their number. What's that? I should give you my number. All right, go ahead and read it out loud for everybody. Go ahead, I'll take it down right now. What is it? She won't do it. <laughs> go ahead, what is it out loud? Did I get that right? <laughs> 911, right? That's what you said. Is that, is that who you call? Is that who you call to file a restraining order? I'm not sure. <laughs> Alright, what's your social security number? Since we're just out here throwing numbers around. What's your last name?
that, that's fucking, that is actually really tough to have to go through, to have to go through childhood with that last name's gotta be really tough. I salute you, I really do. <laughs>
baggage for an airline just lets me know how terribly you treated his shit when you were throwing him out. <laughs> you ever see people unloading baggage from the plane? They're like... <laughs> this is why there's always two sides to every story. Because in the beginning, you guys were like, yeah, you don't need to date a low life. <laughs> and you were like, oh, he's a really good guy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Introverts? You know, like intro I, I would say I'm introverted despite this job. Like I'm, I'm pretty introverted. Are you? Are you an? Are you an extrovert? That's your thing. So if you go out to parties, you like to be center of attention. Clearly. <laughs> so when was his last uh, introvert that you tried dating? Or like he's just not getting. He's not outspoken enough. You married an introvert? Are you still married to him? You. But you, but you gave them 16 years of just silence? <laughs> and what was the final straw? They were like, I just can't deal with it. And he was like, I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, was the, what was the final straw? Don't mind me asking. It is like therapy. You want to be an extrovert, fucking talk. <laughs> no, it's no. Talk to me when I want to talk to you. I'll do it. <laughs> what, did he, what did he do for work? Was he a, like an office job kind of guy? CPA. CPA? What's that? <laughs> what is it? Yeah. An accountant? Yeah, this motherfucker crunches numbers for a living. You didn't see this coming? You thought he was going to be class clown? <laughs> this motherfucker eats pussy with a green visor on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you kind of should have seen that coming a little bit. He sounds like you gave, you gave him a chance, though. Okay, so when, when, you first, when you first met him, he was in marketing, working for Levi's. For some reason, he had all these gay friends. That would seem like an unnecessary detail of the story, but you felt like you throw that out there. But I guess that's not, I've never met a gay introvert in my entire life. Even the bottoms are loud as fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're too much of a partier? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, as far as red flags go, you know what I mean? For some reason. Where'd you meet him? I don't know, like Hinge. Hinge? Okay, wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on dating apps because I don't have that problem. No, no, no. Um, well, <laughs> What is it? Jeepers? What is that? You all own Jeeps, you have to hang out with each other? That feels very forced, doesn't it? That's, that's not fair, because like, then what if dudes who own motorcycles had to hang out with only dudes with small dicks? You know what I mean? Like that? Y'all two are married? How long have you guys been married? Almost 10 years? I didn't ask how many, how many kids do you guys have? We have three. Three total? 22, 19, and 18. Yeah, we're both out of your age range. Bo boys or girls? <laughs> you said we're both out of your age range? Right? I'm not trying to cuck you and your husband. Okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come up to me after the show, I really love it if you would fuck her in the cheek. I really would love it. I'll take the doors off and everything. I swear to God. You did when you got married, it was afterwards. How old are you your kid? Man. What's that? You're fucking with the fabric of Florida right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're fucking slurring your speech. <laughs> do you own, do you own a Jeep as well? No. 
Got a heated jacket? What kind of pimp shit is that? I'm making you laugh so much that you're sweating. Man. I will say getting complimented by a black dude is way better than ever busting a nut. I will say that. It's it just it, you have to work harder for it. Just girlfriend. Gotcha. How long? How, when did y'all meet? Fifteen years ago. Hey, man, I'd roast you, but your jacket already cooking you, so. <laughs> yeah. What's your name, man? Will. Will, great to meet you, Will. You're cool as hell, man. What you, what you do, Will? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> ah! We got him. We got him. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom? Go ahead, man. We'll wait. Can I see his jacket? Can I wear it? I just wanna be wearing it when he comes back. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, heavy as fuck. <laughs> this is the heaviest jacket. This shit is hot. Bro, this jacket just does something to you, man. I've had this jacket on for 10 seconds and my hand is just like. What's up, William? How many polar bears you kill? I feel like this is how pilots dress on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> it's so hard to not go through your pockets. But she asked me. She asked me nicely not to, so I won't. Yeah. I'm trying to feel. Let's see. I know the shape, but like I don't know what I don't know what it could be. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't recognize the end of it. It's drugs. <laughs> it's drugs. Just a little, just a little paraphernalia. And in this pocket, cigarettes. Um, your phone. That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell. Man. Oh my god. I mean, you have to forgive me. I haven't, I haven't held an, an iPhone seven in so long. <laughs> This is a 12? This is the smallest 12 I've ever felt. It's a mini? When they make mini 12s? You got a, is this a pre-roll tube? It's in the opposite, it's in this one. Drugs. I knew it. <laughs> this is the most ghetto magic show ever. <laughs> Man, you guys should have seen when he disappeared in front of his kids. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> well, you're a great dude, man. I really fuck with you heavily. I'm gonna take this off before I'm an accomplice. Yeah, I smell like Newports. <laughs> Were they Newports for real? No! Didn't even look at them. Oh my God. Yeah, y'all shit on stereotypes until they're real funny, huh? Yeah. Fuck y'all, man. Alex, great to meet you, Alex. Alex, what do you do? You work at a prison? <laughs> Are you a guard there? That, that's crazy. Has anything crazy ever happened to you personally? Like, have you ever had like an interaction with an inmate that you were like, what, I can't believe this fucking happened? Uh, three months in. Three months in. 
Nine white supremacists put you in the hospital. Holy shit, they just jumped you? Oh my god. What is your nationality? You're Hispanic? Okay, I could. It's dim lighting in here. It was on Seco de Mayo on your birthday? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Fuck. Turned your ass into a pinata, dog. What do you guys mean? She goes, well, when I get home from work, I let these things out, right? I take off my bra and I'm at home. And he was looking for his cat in her backyard. Bullshit, dog. Oh, my God. That motherfucker was... sure nobody else was looking in here, you know? <laughs> Did you ever find the cat? No. How convenient! How convenient! There's never a cat. There's never a cat! <laughs> you did find some pussy though, huh? Anybody gay? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't see your haircut in the dark, but yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been uh, lesbian? Biologically, what were you born? Female. Female. Oh, I appreciate shit. What's your, what's your name? Carl. Axel. I go by Axel. Charlie, but you go by Axel. Ooh, the gangster ass name. How'd you land? How'd you land on Axel? Axel, my best friend. You let your best friend pick your name? Oh my God, my, I could never. My best friends would be like, "Your name, Baby Dick." From here on out. <laughs> you chose the name? He did. How'd you How'd you land on Axel? <laughs> you built like a carburetor. I don't know. <laughs> Now you go like a transmission, but that's a... Yo, I was like, where is it? I know there's something in there. <laughs> Actually, you're the fucking best. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being such a sweetheart. We should go get some, we should go get some bitches after this. Actually. Let's go. Who, uh, who, who are you married to? Male, female? Uh, another trans guy. Another trans guy. Um, same situation, biologically? Okay, gotcha. And why didn't it work out? He left me for a woman with no teeth. He had him while I was taking care of him because he was paralyzed, basically. Shut the fuck up. You were taking care of him because he was paralyzed. What, what had happened to him that he was paralyzed? A muscle disease. And he met her through TikTok. And he was DMing her like, will I ever walk again? And, he, and the medium was like, yeah, you about to walk out on your marriage. Um, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet him? I've known him for 10 years. No way. What's up? You have a stage name? My name's Gutter Down. Gutter Down! Oh my god, you and your 
nine millimeter. <laughs> With Gunner Dow as the name, I picture you going like full Rambo, just shirtless. And then you come out, your big line is like, you know, I stay strapped. And you pull out a, you pull out a strap on. <laughs> Axel, you're such a sweetheart. One more time for Axel, everybody. Who fought on the way over here? We're going to fight on the way back. <laughs> I say fight now so I don't have to work for the next 30 minutes. I say, uh, uh, y'all are clearly a couple. Who, who, Who's the guy in her life that you hate? Oh, it's her best friend, according to her. It's her best friend's. How, how long has this guy been your best friend? A couple of years now. Couple of years. Okay. okay, that doesn't mean he hasn't been trying to fuck you for a couple of years. <laughs> Where'd you meet this best friend? At work? Oh, that's worse. Oh no, she has to see him every day. Okay, where do you work? At a school. At a school? You're not fucking these kids, are you? Are you a teacher? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, okay, okay. What do you teach? Math. You teach math? All right, fuck you. Um, <laughs> what, is he a teacher as well? Uh, yeah. What does he teach? Uh, science. Science? Would you say you two have chemistry? <laughs> no. No? No, we have chemistry right here. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Sounds like y'all are about to be history. <laughs> Those are your cookies? <laughs> Do I want, well, what kind are they? <laughs> chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft. soft, can I have one? Oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. Oh, I don't know. Chicago. <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> Be my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble. Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Like, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with Crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't. Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. <laughs> and see how well your business does. <laughs> Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertisement. They never led you astray, even once. Do you have the cutter with you? With the crumble. There's, like there's a, a cutter. A cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. again, another perk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity. <laughs> with this bakery. Anybody else see this picture moving? <laughs> if this shit really kicked him, I'd freak the fuck out, bro. What's, what's crusty Mama, Mama. You said crusty <laughs> <laughs> It's very specific. Uh, but if you've been in the wind for a while, <laughs> <laughs> that's a motherfucker might be a hard working ranch man, you don't know. 
Use Vaseline? Oh, you're a freak. <laughs> Vaseline? Oh my god. I'm in my purse right now. Ew! <laughs> Big chapstick! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my lips are chapped, not my asshole. Oh my god. I don't want to put anything on my lips that I have to go <laughs> Rubbing placenta all over your mouth? I'm good, dog. Good. It is cute and small. Okay, I thought you had one of those fucking clubs. I mean, that looks like something you build model cars with. Right? What is it? Lip therapy. Yeah, so that's, that's not the kind of therapy I need. Got <laughs> Anybody ever seen a ghost? What's under what circumstance? Yeah, it was it was it was a boy. It was a little boy. It was a little boy. <laughs> I'm invested. <laughs> what have you seen at the house? I just I saw a boy and a girl and a, and a man. A girl, a boy, and a man. Some people will call that a family. <laughs> Were they related to you? <laughs> yeah, where do you live? What part of town is this? Western Shawnee. West, Western Shawnee? Yeah. Oh, Kansas? <laughs> that checks out. Those were actually just Amish. <laughs> they weren't even really ghosts. Those were just people just trying to deliver some furniture. <laughs> The Amish are the Ikea of the Midwest. They really are. <laughs> Western Shawnee, you say? That's crazy. You never really hear of ghosts in trailer parks, do you? That's crazy. Oh. Mm. Hold on, you say girl best friend? Shh. Have you met her? Yes. And you don't like this bitch? What's that? Not judging people based on how they look. I'm a big fan of that. That's why I like the masks. Love it. You don't know who's ugly with a mask on, do you? It's kind of a fun game to play, isn't it? Just walking through the grocery store like, does this bitch have a beak? Like, you don't know. You don't know what people's situations are. You got to get to know them before you can judge. Like, you wouldn't be able to just assume I'm a douchebag if I have my mask on. You'd have no basis. I could walk into any Starbucks with my mask on. They would just think I'm any random lesbian. You know what I mean? I could be anybody. <laughs> could be anybody. You go in, they're like, what's your name? I'm like, Matt. They're like, you are so brave. <laughs> and the code to your bathroom is for... <laughs> Band guys from Ohio? Like band? Like they're in a band? Yeah, like, like lost fans, my ticket home. Metal bands. Oh, Ohio. metal band. Oh, you like metal music? Yeah. That's the red flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to think any girl who likes to get fucked up. <laughs> I'm a girl who likes to get fingered in Hot Topic. This is uh... <laughs> There was one I came across a couple of weeks ago, not literally. Um, poor, poor choice of words. You know, I'm, I'm scrolling, scrolling, looking for a new one. And, like, you know, you've been like seeing it, seeing it. And like, I, find, I finally fucking find one. Like, I don't, I don't recognize the fucking thumbnail for it. So I'm like, all right, click on it. And let me just start this with like, I don't know how to cook at all. Not a fucking clue. Wouldn't even attempt it. Like, I know nothing about cooking. So the video starts off as this dude, he's got like the camera, like very like POV angle, right? 
Let's not be fucking children. You know what that means. It's his point of view the entire time. And the video starts out with his POV of him cooking eggs, right? And I can't cook eggs. Have never tried to cook eggs, but like, this wasn't it, you know what I mean? Like, he's fucking these eggs up for like five to six minutes. And I'm just like, fuck, how, like, how long is he gonna go? So for like five to six minutes, he's fucking these eggs up. And then like his stepdaughter like comes around the corner of the kitchen and is like, Ron, I really need my permission slip signed to go on this field trip. So he's just like, fucking, how bad do you want to go to the zoo? So... <laughs> So she just starts sucking his dick because how else do you get to the zoo? And so for the next 15 to 20 minutes, it's just him panning back and forth between her sucking his dick and him fucking up these eggs. He cooked them the whole time. I had to watch to be like, is it an omelet? Like how far is he gonna fucking go? What's small? I need a measurement from the base. Tell me, you tell me when. Tell me when to stop. Ready? Tell, tell me when to stop. Just say you fuck black guys. Just say Shit, bitch, like this? How are you sitting down? Lower your standards. Jesus, I don't know what's higher at this point. Your standards or your cervix. Jesus Christ. So you mean like you you need above like eight inches? Has to be above eight? Oh my god, what if, what if he's like really funny? Is this is this a, a, a guy you dated recently? You're married to oh, I'm sorry, you're married to a dude with a small dick. What? Oh, with a giant dick. What's, what the, what's the ethnicity of your husband? White. He's white? He's lucky. He's what? Lucky. Lucky? Is that what you said? Lucky. All right, bitch, you're not going to dick shame me, okay? <laughs> By the way, think about hoes in Nashville. I bet your pussy smell like Copenhagen long cut, okay? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
couple of digit play in the partner. All right, so for Christmas, I really wanted Matt Rife, but since I couldn't have him, I got a cameo instead. And I thought that I would share it with everyone because it's honestly the greatest thing ever. Best $50 I ever spent, you know? Spending big over here. All I asked for in the cameo was for him to roast the fuck out of me. And he did, and I loved it. So without further ado, here's the video. Also, Matt Rife, please reschedule your Rosemont, Illinois show in May. Your girl wants to see it. I, I don't want to roast you, Madeline. You're beautiful. Has anyone ever told you you look like Megan Trainer? Sorry, you you look like Megan needs a trainer. Uh, no, you, you really are beautiful, and I, I love your nose ring, especially because it's, it's the only ring you're ever gonna get. Um, I wish you and your 47 cats the merriest of Christmases. I hope I get to meet you next year. Good luck on your writing. Maybe start with uh, a diet plan. Would would be nice. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm being a dick right now, but I'm, I'm sure this is as much dick as you've ever gotten, so. Who fought on the way over here? <laughs> We're gonna fight on the way back. <laughs> I say fight now so I don't have to work for the next 30 minutes. I say, uh, uh, y'all are clearly a couple. Who, who, who's the guy in her life that you hate? Oh, it's her best friend according to her. It's her best friend. <laughs> how, how long has this guy been your best friend? couple of years okay. okay that doesn't mean he hasn't been trying to fuck you for a couple of years <laughs> where'd you meet this best friend at work oh that's worse <laughs> oh no she has to see him every day okay where do you work at a school you're not fucking these kids are you are, are you a teacher Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You what do you teach? Math. You teach math? All right. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> what, is he a teacher as well? Uh, yeah. What does he teach? Uh, science. Science? <laughs> Would you say you two have chemistry? <laughs> no. No? Mm. Uh, no, we have chemistry right here. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like y'all are about to be history. What a heated jacket. What kind of pimp shit is that? I'm making you laugh so much that you're sweating. Man. I will say getting complimented by a black dude is way better than ever busting a nut. I will say that. It's, it's just, it, you have to work harder for it. Just girlfriend. Gotcha. How long? How, when did y'all meet? 15 years ago. Hey, man, I'd roast you, but your jacket already cooking you, so. <laughs> What's your name, man? Will. Will, great to meet you, Will. You're cool as hell, man. What you, what you do, Will? <laughs> Say less. Uh, <laughs> ah! We got him. We got him. Oh, you gotta go to the bathroom? Go ahead, man. We'll wait. Can I see his jacket? Can I wear it? I just wanna be wearing it when he comes back. Thank you. Thank you. Shit, heavy as fuck. <laughs> this is the heaviest jacket. This shit is hot. Bro, this jacket just does something to you, man. I've had this jacket on for 10 seconds and my hand is just like... What's up, William? How many polar bears you kill? I feel like this is how pilots dress on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> <laughs>
it's so hard to not go through your pockets. But she asked me. She asked me nicely not to, so I won't. Yeah. I'm trying to feel. Let's see. I know the shape, but like I don't know what I don't know what it could be. Oh, I thought it was, but I didn't recognize the end of it. It's drugs. It's drugs. Just a little, just a little paraphernalia. And in this pocket, cigarettes. Um, your phone. That's stupid as hell. That's stupid as hell. Oh my god. I mean, you have to forgive me. I haven't held an iPhone 7 in so long. This is a 12? This is the smallest 12 I've ever felt. It's a mini? When they make mini 12s? You got a... Is this a pre-roll tube? It's in the opposite... It's in this one. Drugs. I knew it. <laughs> this is the most ghetto magic show ever. <laughs> Man, you guys should have seen when he disappeared in front of his kids. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> Will, you're a great dude, man. I really fuck with you heavily. I'm gonna take this off before I'm an accomplice. Yeah, I smell like Newports. <laughs> Were they Newports for real? No! Didn't even look at them. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all shit on stereotypes until they're real funny, huh? Yeah. Fuck y'all, man. Do your cookies? Do I want what kind of chocolate chip? Are they soft chocolate chip or like the, the hard ones? Soft. soft? Can I have one? <laughs> oh, they're fucking massive. Can I have the whole thing? Are you sure? If this is poisoned, I swear to God. Edibles? Oh my God, it could be edibles. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to 45 minutes from now. <laughs> Can you guys feel my jokes? <laughs> You're my fucking nightmare, bro. It is very good. Where are you from? Crumble? Is that like a local Chicago place? No? It's a, it's a chain? Now, who booed cookies? What do you have against Crumble, dog? You a rival bakery or something? You got ops out here? You don't fuck with Crumble? No. Why not? Because they crumble and I heard they don't Bitch, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, you name a, a, a bakery, they stay together. And see how well your business does. <laughs> Just fucking biting on bricks and shit. That's solid advertising. They never led you astray even once. Do you have the cutter with you? With the crumble. There's, like there's a, a cutter. A cutter? Yeah. Oh, there's a cookie cutter that comes with the cookies? Do you have it? Even though they've already been cut. Oh, it cuts them in a slice because they're so fucking big. Yeah. Oh, again, another perk. <laughs> I'm tired of you having a problem with all the positivity <laughs> with this bakery. <laughs> Anybody else see this picture moving? <laughs> if this shit really kicked him, I'd freak the fuck out, bro. Does anybody here have any autistic children? Do you really? Yeah. How old? Um, so he just turned four. He just turned four? Yeah. What's, um, how far on the spectrum would you say he is? Is it, is it little by little or is he like... He's nonverbal. He's nonverbal. Got, he got it. Yeah. 
<laughs> what's his What's his thing that he's really good at? Um, so he's hyperlexic. So hyperlexic. What's that? He's very, very good with numbers, shapes, colors. He's good with and numbers, shapes, and colors. and colors. Fuck yeah, that dude about to rob a casino. Sometime. <laughs> You're gonna be a very rich mom someday. There's no cons, bro. You don't gotta worry about him talking to strangers. You don't like talking to nobody. That's awesome. Congratulations. What is that? Some fan art. You made that? Are you kidding me? You drew this? That's so cool. She drew this. Aww. This is so good. And you're verbal. Guys, this is really good, okay? <laughs> Fucking be nice, okay? This is, this is going top of the fridge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I look like that? <laughs> I wish I was gay for the fitness of the fashion alone. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I'm straight, but I'd love to be in gay shape. You know what I mean? You ever meet a gay dude? They're in great shape every fucking time, man. It's so impressive. Gay dudes stay in the gym. That's the guy's name, Jim. They just stay in there. They just turn it out, burning in calories, dog. It's dedication. You better respect it. That's next level fitness, bro. That's that level of in shape that like you could fight off another grown man if you wanted to. You know? That's that's up to you. You know, you put in the work top or bottom. That's you, dog. That's your prerogative. God, and if they're not fucking, if they're not fucking shredded. They fuck dress impeccably. You guys look fantastic. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but gay men have a stranglehold on the fashion game. They are killing shit. Bro. Nobody in this world dresses better than gay men. You better respect it. It's pretty impressive. I mean, you spend enough time in the closet, you're bound to find something. You know, you just... <laughs> Boots. <laughs> Love it. What, what happened with your ghost story? Uh, I was in Monterey, Mexico. Monterey, Mexico. You look like you're not from there, so visibly. <laughs> Mexico City and I was driving back to uh, Kansas. I went through Monterey. I was in a I was in a hotel room that night in our room. I was with three other people, also witnesses to this event. Mm -hmm. And there was a probably like an eight foot figure in our room. There was an eight foot figure in your room? Yeah. Mexicans are not that tall. So instinctually, you're like, that's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Unless it was just like two of them in a trench coat. Like, you know, you, know, you, know, you know when kids are trying to get into an amusement park and they're just fucking... <laughs> One adult, please. Okay, so you saw, you saw this tall-ass figure. Okay. That's a true story, man. That's the end of it? No. Okay. <laughs> Still going. So, it definitely... It made an indescribable sound that I cannot... It made an indescribable sound? You mean Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> this was... This was just housekeeping! And he... <laughs> he woke up at 9 a.m. and just heard, I clean... Ah! <laughs> Dia de los muertes! <laughs> So it made this sound. How would you describe this sound? Like a whisper scream. Like, I mean, honestly, like a whisper scream? scream? Was it the ghost of the yin-yang twins? What the fuck? <laughs> and then did it just disappear? Did it walk away? It levitated over the bed. Oh my god! It levitated over the bed? It, all right, so it levitated over the bed, and you were like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Please don't! <laughs> Could you guys in the back hear what happened? You can hear the story okay? I just wanted to make sure. 
Yeah, basically, he was in Mexico. He was doing some gay shit with his friends. And, uh, scared him a little. Black dudes are the funniest people on the but That's a black dude for sure. I know a black dude's laugh. That's all I did all of February. I just fell asleep. The black dude's laughing, man. Like, that was my ASMR. That brings me such joy. What's your name, bro? Uh, Tory, man. Who you here with? I've never been more sure somebody's with a side chick in my life. <laughs> Black dudes answer you without even answering. They really do. Who are you here with? Ah. <laughs> What's that? I said we good. Ain't nobody's cameras out. You all right, man? You okay? <laughs> but don't start no shit, man, because I'll fucking boom. Got your ass. Boom. Got you on camera, sorry. Suspicious. Oh, man. I hope I get a side chick someday. Just go do all the things I'm not supposed to in public and shit. No side. One more time? No side, just the main. That's, the, that's your main girl? Yeah, you felt the need to reiterate that? You felt the need. You're like, just to make sure. What's that? You almost got me in some shit. <laughs> You almost got you in some shit, man. Okay, this is your one and only girlfriend. No. Don't do that. Don't sit down. All right, sit down. Stop making this woman think fu the Tory fucked you. Okay, do not do that. Don't say that. No, you don't. You don't know who's sitting back there. Who's the girl you know? I know Brittany. You know Brittany? Britney forever ago, right? Next subject. Next subject. <laughs> what, you don't like talking about black history? <laughs> Chapter one, Britney. <laughs> you said everybody knows Britney? Yeah. Britney sounds like a hoe now. Everybody knows her? Hey, Tori, don't say that. What's that? It's for you. It's a Build-A-Bear. That's for me? Yeah. What is it? It's a Build-A-Bear. You got me a Build-A-Bear? Yeah. Why? It's a voice message, too, in it. It has a voice yeah, message? From your show where you said if someone got you a Build-A-Bear. Oh, my God. So I did, I did a TikTok one time where the girl in the audience was saying it was a red flag that a guy brought her a Build-A-Bear on a first date. <laughs> yeah. And I had said in the video, I was like, I would love if somebody brought me a Build-A-Bear. So you brought me one? Yeah. I gotta do more jokes about getting my dick sucked. I really gotta. Fuck, man. What am I doing with all this cute shit? Oh, God. Thanks, I guess. This is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, your numbers are on here. It might still happen. It might still happen. Okay. We can use them for cleanup. Can I take him out of here? Yeah. This is so cute. Aww. You didn't really, you didn't spring to get him any clothes? That's kind of the whole, you didn't really build the bear. You just kind of, you kind of just, looks like you stole one, kind of. There's a voicemail one? Yeah, he presses the paw. Presses the paw? What if I press it and it's just like, I want you to fuck over this. That sucks, I can't lie. That's, um, that's, uh, it's not incredibly audible, but it's a thought that counts. Thank you so much. This is, this is one of the, the sweetest, laziest gifts I've ever had. Thank you. Oh, back in there you go. There we go. This is my security, in case any of y'all on your Will Smith shit right now. Feel like getting offended running up on stage. Keep my wife's name out your fucking hands. 
Because, yeah, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> That's such a cool skill, man. This looks like you solve an imaginary Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Just killing shit. Is uh anybody gay? <laughs> anybody at all? Anybody anybody in the vicinity? <laughs> I know you're good with your hands, dog. Oh, I know it, dog. I know it. <laughs> this man will jerk you off with a poem. <laughs> you're so sweet. I've just never been in this position before. This is so much fun. <laughs> A sacrifice. <laughs> the fuck? Did, did my interpreter just get gentrified? I don't understand. <laughs> who um who who are you signing for? I didn't I don't I didn't even know. Um, I'm not sure. She said back That's there. Why I'm here. <laughs> no, it is not you, bitch. You've been here on the whole show for sure. You make us wish we were all deaf, to be honest. Uh, you don't sound deaf at all. You sound, this just seems so extra. What was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Great to meet you, Nicole. How did you, um... How did you hear about the show? Um... Fuck. No, 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 <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. This is so exciting. Thanks for coming. I just, I just wanted to know. Sounds like you don't need to be here, to be honest. Let's <laughs> yeah. so everybody be nice. Especially you feisty. I like your energy a lot. I'll come back there and take your fucking batteries out. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I'll turn, I'll turn you off. All right. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill the fuck out, man. If I have her sign something, will you relay it verbally? You didn't know this was Deaf Comedy Jam, did you? You didn't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Rock! I've been waiting for this moment, boy. There is so much to unpack. Damn. I'm sorry. This is gonna get cancelable. Let's do it. Y'all broke up? Oh my god. I don't like sleeping with a bunch of different people anyways, because I don't like inconsistent feedback. <laughs> This is the bigger red flag now. But that was an unnecessary detail, would you say? You've been fingered in a dorm for sure. Okay. Ding, 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 If you didn't laugh at that shit, I would never be your friend. Fuck you, dude. Are you stupid? Yeah! Y'all in no position to judge my family, okay? Don't test me, dog. It's just an energy you want to be around. Can I lock your phone? I don't give a fuck. I'm about to hurt your feelings. I've been waiting for this exact opportunity, He said he doesn't trust me? That's crazy. Let's, let's go. Oh, that could not have went better. That could not have went better. Oh my God. Strong as shit, man. You look like the black dude whose dick was out on the end of the bed during COVID. Remember you would send a link to like, COVID's been cured. And you click the link and it's that motherfucker just... It would be like vital information too. Like, your grandma's been hospitalized. What? Click. <laughs> the government's giving everybody fifteen thousand dollars for real. Ah, ah. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you thought. 
<laughs> I never had so much dick in my phone than over COVID, man. So congratulations on the success, man. You, you really held the country together. I hope you know that. What's your name, man? Jack. Jack, great to meet you, man. Where are you from? North Carolina. You from North Carolina? Raleigh area? No. No? Where from? The country. If the I told you, you driving my house, you ride by. Damn. <laughs> When I grew up, to catch the bus, is cows. Shut up. You had to walk by cows to catch the bus? There was a slaughterhouse on the corner. There was a slaughterhouse on the corner? Are you from the country, country? You lived here your whole life? Uh, nah, I went to the army. You went to the army? That's why you're so fucking strong, man. I thought you, I thought you were just moving cows your whole life. I didn't know. It was a slaughterhouse, but it was really just a wrestling mat. And the cow goes inside, and this motherfucker just... <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> and then he would milk its body and mix it with creatine. And just, and just drink a, a fucking victory protein shake. Oh, man. What would you do for the army? Uh, generator mechanic. Generator mechanic. Uh, do you, you see any battle? Twice. Fuck, where at? Iraq, Afghanistan. Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank you for your service, man. For real. Round of applause for that. Uh, that's long enough. He was just keeping the lights on. All right, everybody, come and chill out. Gen ba, ba, ba. They're on. Okay, yeah. But still respect. Still respect. It's girlfriend, wife. 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 Nice to meet you. What's your name? DJ. What do you do, DJ? I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have twin uh, freshmen and a six-year-old. Twin freshmen in high school, so they're what, 14? Yeah. Roughly. Oh my God. How long have you guys been married for? Eight years. Oh, you have, you have 14 year olds. <laughs> Damn, how long were you in the military, bro? I waited for you. Who are these motherfuckers? Do the one handed belt. Take my belt off? If I do, will you hang yourself with it? I've never been more sure somebody's from Miami in my fucking life. Worse. <laughs> Dry Miami. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Ugh. What school you go to? Rollins. <laughs> Community College. Yeah. <laughs> it's a private school? Sorry. Just say you came from money. Just say that. Gwyneth Paltrow's jury selection team. <laughs> Is that a real thing? <laughs> Wasn't she selling pussy scented candles? <laughs> She's a what? She has a blog? It's called The Goop. Goop. The Goop? That sounds like what she should name her pussy scented candles. <laughs> I wish I had been more up to date on that trial. It's all over TikTok. It'll all come up on your phone now that we've talked about it. That's fucking scary. <laughs> Oh, way worse. Women's basketball. <laughs> What's that? Your mom plays professional basketball? No way. So you definitely don't come from money. I just did something your mom could never do. I dunked on your bitch ass, dog. <laughs> that was a low blow. I'm sorry. But it was also such a layup, you know? Was your mom good? Yes. Would you say she was the Dykel Jordan of the WNBA? <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. Did you get to go to a lot of games growing up? Yeah, I did. You sat courtside? Absolutely. Was it lonely? We have to get out of here, you guys. We do. Because I have a, a fantasy WNBA team to go manage. College baseball? Oh, man, you've been fingered in a dorm for sure. Okay, good.
Okay. Right, so who went pro and didn't take you with them? Who was it? <laughs> All right, what, what is it that you don't like about college baseball players? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the ego. The ego. The ego of playing a, a collegiate sport at a high level? <laughs> you can't be proud about that? The seventh pitcher on the team? I love how you're clowning them for that, but Loki, you fucked the seventh pitcher on the team. <laughs> Girl, yo, your pussy is the bullpen. Do you know that? Strike one. So it's just an ego thing? That's the only thing you don't like about it? Oh. You he, he, You never fucked him? Damn, you couldn't even fuck the seventh pitcher on the baseball team? Damn. Strike two. Where did you go to school? You didn't go to school? You didn't go to college? Strike three, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I seem frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated. A gift maybe help? Maybe after the show. No. <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. We don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I guess. Like, <laughs> Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I, I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's, hold on, there's one more thing in here. Cookies! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. this is fantastic. It's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my God. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so hot. Thank you so much. Oh my God. You're a grandma? Yeah. Let's put that shower chair to use. There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess, you know? How old are you? Say it. Say it. <laughs> this is dirty talk to me. Come on. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you, from, are you from here? Really? We gotta get you out of here. We gotta get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis at least. Let's just get you, out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. <laughs> Stupid. I'm so sorry. What, are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? You have your tubes tied? <laughs> you do? I'm gonna fucking move in the morning. Yeah. Uh. These are my sisters. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Uh, I'm the oldest out of nine. Nine? <laughs> Would you like to have such a hot older sister? Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. She, she doesn't? No. Good. <laughs> Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever, unless, unless, well, well, that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? Your daughter? Your daughter? 
This is your daughter? Show us. Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is, I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21 year old? This is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been put in this position, but. She's in Jacksonville, Florida? I'll be down there. I think later on this year. She looks exactly like you. This is insane. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna date you for the next 10 years, and then we'll, we'll trade up. Fuck, this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing my kids. Losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> no, that's, that's bad. <laughs> but if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. <laughs> now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. I had a lump in my breast. You had a lump in your breast? And I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram and recently. I Best friends with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not gonna ask for ugly people's advice. <laughs> yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTiming. With just a tit out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Cause like you know it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> ah! Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm Need a second opinion? <laughs> Are you sure? Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTimer. Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> Where are you right now? Do you, do, you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? Like, you know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone, and I was going through your guys' text history, and uh, gross. But I'm glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. See your kitties? Sure did. Sure did. And, um... You're a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. I love bye, you. Mom, I love you. <laughs> bye, Maggie. <laughs> Hear them? What do you mean? They fucked them up. What do you mean they fucked them up? <laughs> Who fucked up your titties? <laughs> the doctor? Do you have fake boobs? Fuck. Um, <laughs> prove it. <laughs> what do you? They make sounds. Like, like what? Like, like what? What? What sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. <sighs> Thank you guys for coming on this date with Christina. And I. 
I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck? You're lying. That did not just happen. You, was that a real thing? a squeaky toy in her titties. And you talking to a doll. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh. What? I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? What made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids. You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them? Damn. Because you know it goes great with cookies. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> Silicone. <laughs> Your lady? Nice. How long have you been together? A year? A year? Oh, A year? Today's the anniversary? Get the fuck out of here. You wearing an I Love Lizzo shirt? <laughs> Lizzo's. There's multiple? <laughs> Big girls in general. For real? Interesting. What a hot fetish, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna say this respectfully. <laughs> because it seems like it's what you're into, so purely complimentary, but you got you a good one, bro. You really do. She's fine as hell. I hope you know that. Now, are you into, is specifically bigger black women or is big women in general? Is that kind of like the overall? Like I, like, I like black women. You like black women more? Uh, what BLM rally did you guys meet at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys would have brought more black friends, this wouldn't be as awkward. I want you guys to know that right now. Y'all making it weird, okay? I'm just trying to get to know a lovely couple. Where did you guys meet? High school. You guys met in high school? No way. Now, um, how did you guys get reconnected? Facebook. On Facebook? He yeah. was like, hey, yeah. saw you put on some way. Ah! Uh, I, mean, I feel like we've both grown <laughs> as people, you know? And, uh, you know. I just remember the dick pic, he was like, can you? <laughs> not the hand you use to hold it, was it? He said, can you work with that? And you were like, I guess. <laughs> like, I love charity work, why not? You know? Led with a dick pic, my boy. Hey, I, I be doing the same thing, man. Congratulations. Who, whose idea was it to come to the show? Me. It was your, yeah, he, he doesn't seem like he's happy with the decision. At all. He was like, we could have been at home using up all the cocoa butter and you could have been Damn, man. You guys are so cute. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't even get your names. Bianca. Bianca and Austin. Austin. Pleasure to meet you, man. Woo! Austin, what you do for work, man? Uh, what about you, Bianca? I'm a dental assistant. You're a dental assistant? Yeah. For real? Yeah. You work at a dentist's office here in Nashville? I travel. I actually travel from Kentucky to here with the endodontist. You're a traveling uh, dental assistant. Yeah. You were just in Kentucky. Not a lot of work to be done. No. <laughs> You guys don't have kids, do you? Yeah. You have kids? Uh, boy, and a boy and a girl. Were they also with a, a black woman? Yes. Nice, dude. <laughs> Were you married to that woman or you were just with her for a little while? I was married to her. You're married to her. When did you get divorced? Not legally yet. Not legally yet? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be black so bad. Joking, joking, God. You believe in crystals? No. Do you believe in like the universe and all that kind of stuff? Does Austin? No, you just love black holes. <laughs> what you watching over there, bro? 
You said somebody's breaking into your car? Where are they? Bro, I'll go beat their ass right now. I swear to God. You get like uh, a notification on your phone? Yeah, it said something. Where's the Tesla? What's that? It said something set my alarm. Something set the alarm? Are you parked outside? Yeah. You want to go check? <laughs> do, oh, do you have the Century uh, cameras? Can you turn them on? That's what he was watching. Is somebody out there? What's it looking like? <laughs> Can you imagine we roll out there with 300 people and just like, hey, hey, pop the frunk. <laughs> uh, what, what model Tesla you have? You have the watch? You like? I have the three. You like it? Sometimes I get reminded how well my life is actually going. Because like two months ago, I was, I was in LA and I was driving on the freeway. And I, I was in the driver's seat and, and Alex, who was up here before me, was in the passenger seat. He's like, how you feel, man? I was like, I don't know, man. Things just, sometimes things just don't really, really be going the way that you hope they're going. And you know, like, what if, what if this kind of spike in my career is just kind of like a flash in the pan? You can't make it last or whatever. And he was like, you realize you haven't touched the steering wheel the whole time? <laughs> I was like, I guess it's going all right. I guess it'll be all right. Yeah. It's getting driven around. <laughs> And then he topped me off, dude, it was fire. <laughs> no hands, you know? You a cop? Really? Yeah, the mustache. That makes sense. So you were actually totally okay with the amount of black people that were here. <laughs> he was like, somebody's breaking into my car. He was like, how's it feel? <laughs> Shots fired. How's it feel? <laughs> if you guys had to guess a crime I'd get arrested for, what, what would it be? What would you say? Did somebody say soliciting? <laughs> who, who said that? That's prostitution? Come on, get rid of that law, man. Come on. But what's funny is you can do it for free. You just can't be like, here's gas money. <laughs> like, that's... You moved here just a few years ago. Why'd you make the move? Um, lived in a hectic house, and then... You lived in a hectic house? Is that like a trap house in the UK? Um, what is a hectic house? Um, I don't know. It was basically just a house share, but like, the landlord didn't know. Who was in there? It was a house share, but the landlord didn't know who was in You were squatting. <laughs> you were in somebody else's house, and they didn't know you were in there. That's a trap house. <laughs> and, and now you have a not-so-hectic house. Yeah. you have roommates? No, I live with my boyfriend. You live with your boyfriend? This conversation's over. <laughs> Whatever. Fine, fucking stay in your hectic relationship if you want to. Your parents? You have children? How old are you? 28. You're 28? 28 and you've got a baby. How old's your kid? Seven. Seven? Holy shit, that's not a baby, that's a roommate. So, what's your boyfriend do? Um, he at the moment is stay at home dad. Doesn't have a job. God. So what are you doing to provide for this entire family? You're a singer and you DJ. That's so cool. I've, oh man, I've always, fuck, I wish I could sing. I'd never tell another joke for as long as I lived. <sighs> the acoustics in here are pretty good. Should we sing something? Do you guys know R. Kelly? Five, six, seven, eight. That's how old they were. <laughs> Mom needs a house, come on. Plan B is $50. Thanks for rubbing me out, man. Oh. I'm here. I am your genie. I've been summoned, and now it's time to grant you a wish. You sure you're a genie?
Because you look more like Ashton Kutcher. Uh, when you become a genie, you get to grant one wish, and mine was... To look like Ashton Kutcher? Why would you want to do that? It was the early 2000s, and it seemed like... What, th look, this isn't about me, this is about you, so what's your wish? And obviously I'm going to no, wish for more that's wishes. Not, it doesn't work like that. You get It's one wish. I wish to go back in time, and I want to star in the hit comedy, Dude, Where's My Car? Alongside Ashton Kutcher. No, 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 I'd, I'd be playing Ashton's role, but you know, make, make it funny. We can't go back in time. Because it could change the outcome of the future. That's... The Mandela effect. You're so right. Oh, such a good movie. What's your wish? I wish to go on a date with Mila Kunis. She's so cute. Oh! No. Oh. It's not going to happen, all right? I'm, she's very happily married. And I'm pretty sure she's not into problematic fuckboys. Okay. Fine. Okay. I wish for a world tour bigger than anything I could have ever dreamed of. And I want it full sold out with people from across the world who just want to come out, have a good time, and laugh. Can you give me that? Prepare yourself for the tour of a lifetime. Your wish is my command. Let's go! Thank you so much. You have no idea how badly I've always wanted this. Hey, man, no problem. Look. Go, go pack, get ready, it's time right. to go. Oh, sorry. All right, I'm gonna run to the store real quick. Uh, keys. Uh, dude, where's my- No, uh... and then. You're good. You are good. Don't get canceled. Asking for escorts, paying for escorts. Did you sound hurt recently? What happened? <laughs> Somebody just checked their bank statement like a week ago. <laughs> also, how are you louder than me? <laughs> Alright, let's dive into this divorce. What happened? I found out three days ago my husband of six years, we have two beautiful boys, is paying for escorts. <laughs> How much? How did you find out? I saw the text message under the new update on iPhone under edit and delete it. Hold on, you can check those? <laughs> what was it? 300 per hour. 300 per hour? Do they do by the minute? Because <laughs> I got 20, you know what I mean? Uh, um, did you see the pictures? There's no pictures and he won't admit it. He's saying it's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam? That means he didn't come. <laughs> this shit's a rip off. <laughs> I could have stayed, stayed married if I wanted to not come. <laughs> There's some married people in here. Good fucking feeling. <laughs> I am really sorry. That is the best genuinely fucked up. Are you guys done? Or are you, are you gonna stick with them? You're like, just don't fucking do this shit again. I already packed up all my shit and moved out. <laughs> That's the fuck that dude. You strong woman, you go out there, you live your whole life, you have the most fun, you have the and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll fuck you for 150 to be honest. Do I hear, do I hear 200? Do I hear 200? <laughs> what does it show up as? Like, what's like the receipt look like? He had a code words. He asked, what are your roses? And I googled that and found the website and the code roses means how much we're doing. Right. Bitch, what if he was buying you flowers? $300 worth of flowers. He might love you. No. <laughs> Did he even try that excuse? No. Ah, that would have been my go-to. Do it for an hour. They, they pick them themselves. It's for, it's for an hour, it's worth of work. You need as many roses as they can pick in an hour. I think they're a solid deal. Nobody fucking steal that. Your best friend used it. I am sketch. You chose 
three hours to sleep in? Oh my gosh, that's $900. That's $900. Oh God, I'm so sorry! Oh my God, God damn! I'm so sorry! Where are you ladies going? You guys going to the bathroom right now? Uh, say what's up to Big Ben for me. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! It's a move! Why is it wet? Was it in your lap? <laughs> it's weed? I'm just gonna dispose of this. Gotcha. Go ahead. Good luck. Good luck. Oh shit. Look, it's the ghost of Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Who brought that up here? Me. It was not you, bitch. God. I feel like the only gift you give, there's no cure for. <laughs> for your birthday, you made me cookies? Thank you so much. Aww. You can give me some cake, too. <laughs> if we're talking pastries, you know. How, uh, how old are you turning? Old enough not to get pregnant. <laughs> we'll see. Does your shirt say build a bear my ass? <laughs> and there's another piece of paper underneath it that says squeaky titties ain't got nothing. <laughs> is there more? God damn, bitch, tweet me this. This is so much. Ain't got nothing. On a purring pussy, can you... Bitch, this is an essay. You guys can't see it. She's tearing away one paper at a time. Oh, you can see it. Oh, fantastic. Autograph my vagina. <laughs> now that was fucking funny. Her shirt says... The layer of jokes. Oh my god. What is your name? Dee Dee? Like double D? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. How old are you, Dee? You're 60? Get the fuck out of here. That's why the font was so big, huh? <laughs> she, she couldn't read her own shit. <laughs> One of them said, autograph my pussy with your dick. <laughs> You 60, Dee Dee. Who else's name is on there? <laughs> Fucking Honest Wagner? <laughs> Only the dudes get that as a baseball reference. Very old, very old baseball player. How do you autograph a 60 year old's pussy? With like a feather and ink? <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? The fuck? Calm that down, calm that down. Do you have a kitty noisemaker in your outfit? Where is it? It's in your city? Shut up. You play, you played into this. Even 60 year old pussy needs help making noise. That's impressive, dude. 
you feel about the alien information that came out? Okay, this is a good one. Does anybody actually give a shit when they saw that? How can you not? No, I know, I know, I know. Bro, they confirmed aliens are real. The fact that you guys are even still at a comedy show right now is insane. <laughs> Why you all aren't building bunkers right now doesn't make sense. I'm on your side. What? Yeah, because hey, duh. <laughs> the analogy I actually heard was the concept that think about why we don't talk to ants, right? Like they're so underdeveloped yeah. as creatures. It's like you know you can't really have a, you can't really communicate with them. I don't think aliens think we're even ready to meet them, no. and we're not. Imagine aliens come down and are like men and women of Earth, and somebody's like, some of us are neither. Shut up. That's exactly why I'm not talking to nobody in the back. You're thirsty. <laughs> Helen was minding her own business, being polite. What's your name? What is it? Rachel. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Everybody knows a bitch named Rachel, dude. Everybody does. That's one of the most red flag names. Are you in school still? From where? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh my god. It's easier to be cancer than what you got. Oh my god. ASU, absolutely. Your pussy tastes like jungle juice. <laughs> there ain't no way I would ever date somebody from ASU. Nah. I'm alright. <laughs> Your pussy is just a beer pong cup at this point. Elbow. Has, has anybody here ever, ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Yeah. What, what did you experience? Uh, I went to a haunted house where I grew up in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, which is very haunted. Now when you say haunted house, you make a Halloween one or like no, a legitimate no, haunted house? No, like a house that was like owned by the Ku Klux Klan at one point. Oh, oh, oh those weren't ghosts. <laughs> actually much scarier and uh, they don't like shadow people either so i was going up to the house and there looked like there was an old man in the window i bet there was well, <laughs> i turned around to tell my friends about it and i turned around and he was like gone and so i thought it was a ghost it, i just felt a very haunted feeling you all thinking I'm crazy or something, but I didn't feel haunted. Okay? No, they think you're racist. They don't think you're, they don't think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You're, you're just fine. It's okay. Totally different thing. Different, different thing to be ashamed of. It's all right. So did you get a chance to go inside the house? No, I ran from that house. You're probably not the first person. So I'm, I'm glad that you are a believer and, and back me up. The ghosts are fucking scary. <laughs> Monsters are scary too. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to negate. That's not a real one. <laughs> Some monsters are fucking real. You. you went to their house. <laughs> People are monsters. <laughs> Well, if that's not even a real thing, first and foremost. Um, I'm starting my master's right now. What do you get your master's in? Criminal justice. Criminal justice. What do you want to do with that? Um, at the end of the day, like FBI, CIA, but you don't start there, so. FBI, CIA, for real? Are you going to find the clip? <laughs> I think it's a missing person. He was last seen in a canoe. Where do you know this guy from? Right now, are you two better friends than you and then than her ex and you are at this point? Correct. Oh, you get both of you guys aren't friends with that guy. Crazy. I mean, like, mama's boy, hypocritical Catholic, and a mascot. A mascot. What was the mascot? The Omaha Beef. <laughs> There's no way there's a team called the Omaha. Indoor football team. Indoor football, like lingerie? Unfortunately, no. Oh, 
man. And then he also became the mascot for the, uh, the Union Omaha soccer team. I'm sorry, I can't get over Omaha beef. I really... <laughs> an indoor football team? <laughs> I hope there's, I hope you guys have an indoor lingerie league that's called the Omaha Beef Curtains. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Do you know Tanner? You work with him? Are you the Beef Curtains mascot? He moved to Texas now? He just took a professional mascot job. He took a professional mascot job? From <laughs> where? It's, he wouldn't say, but it's like minor league something. Minor leagues? I didn't know there were like minor league mascot um, like hierarchies. I didn't know you could like work your way up to be in the pros. I thought like pro mascots was like rock bottom for people. <laughs> well, what's usually your type besides mascots? You suffer the pilot? Yeah. Why, like Spirit Airlines? Or like, or like Navy Jet pilot, pilot? Like Air Force. Air Force? Southwest. Yeah, I feel like he was a Southwest pilot wearing Air Force Ones. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Um, we worked at the dining hall together at college. Oh yeah, he worked at the college as well. And he went on to become a pilot in the Air Force? Well, that's kind of cool. He's like in the process, he's still gotta graduate. He's not even a pilot? So you haven't fucked a pilot. <laughs> You fuck with a guy who likes planes. <laughs> you may have fucked an autistic guy. <laughs> you said it like he crashed. <laughs> what airline? <laughs> My airline. <laughs> How long did you date him for? Um, a year. You gave it a chance. <laughs> and why didn't it work out? Would you say he's plain? <laughs> that was so stupid. That was so stupid. You guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yeah. Yes. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If I'm telling you, you can't. No, porn yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. <laughs> you should not be in a position to leave reviews. <laughs> Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. <laughs> hey. It should say, hey, bro. That's <laughs> how it should start. As you may know, your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. Oh, website. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, sorry, he's not a dot. Yeah, you're, you're not you're a, a dot org. org. <laughs> yeah. While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> Yeah, what happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we oh. gotta stop this? <laughs> he said too many school shootings. Ah! Just contact your representative before it's too late. <laughs> you gotta call a guy and be like, hey man, knock it off. I'm trying to come over here. Oh, no, hey, you call you call your representatives and just leave the room. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm the fucking Florida truck and I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> West Virginia would never. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a website. That's a family photo. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> just dentist magazines. <laughs> oh my God. Probably the oldest person in here. Do we think? 51. 51. Is 51 to? There's a 54. Right here. No. Is, not. It, is that 52? He said 52. Yeah, that's less. <laughs> We're looking for more. Oh shit! Oh, did he not hear me? When I asked who was older, what is your name? What is it? Bob? Bob? Yeah. Great to meet you, Bob. Not Robert. Bob. Oh, you have an accent. Where, where are you from? England. Yeah. Is anybody else not from here? Like, country-wise? That sounded fake. 
That sounded like a white person pretending to be a Mexican. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Who said that? Nice, man. How about Alabama? It might as well be a different country, huh? <laughs> Man, they say Alabama people are dumb. They didn't say you couldn't even read the room. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What, what is your name, sir? What? <laughs> Hold on. Mom, what is it? Rael? Nobody can pronounce it. Just did. <laughs> What's that? What? I didn't even ask you, dog. I'm not. I'm not the police, dog. Like, you don't need to just. You don't need to start just giving me information. Like, I, I, when, when did you come up here? Uh, Twenty-five years ago. Twenty-five years ago. For 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 what reason specifically? I got brought here. You got you got what? You got brought here? <laughs> Guys. I thought we stopped doing that. Not okay, Portland. Not okay. Man, they brought you here to run the only Taco Bell in the city. They were like, it's gotta be authentic. Gotta be. Who brought you here, man? Not my parents. Oh, dude. You gotta say that. I thought you were napped. I don't know how old he was, but I don't know if he was a kid or not, still would have happened, but he'd still be napped. Do you, go, do you go back home to, to Mexico often? Uh, no, not really. I don't like it. <laughs> That's fair. I've been to Mexico a few times. It's, it's run by dogs. <laughs> Dude, if you've ever been to Mexico, it's nothing but stray dogs and one kind of car. <laughs> what do you, like, what, what is something you would love to do? If you could do anything in the entire world to celebrate your retirement, like, what would you do? I don't know, have more dogs, cars. Okay. Did you say have more dogs? <laughs> I told you dogs run that fucking country. Man. That Sarah McLaughlin commercial was a goddamn campaign over there, dude. Right? That's the cutest fucking thing I'd ever heard. Oh man. Hawaii is fucking awesome. Rael, have you been to Hawaii? Never. You what? I can blend in. As long as you don't talk, yeah. <laughs> 100%. Real, real question. If you had to be made love to, <laughs> would you rather you get you? a stranger? It could be any. It could. It could be that dude. It could be that. Okay, we take another dude. <laughs> it's it's Rael. It's... Oh, Rael? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. He, he's a stranger. He's in a breakfast somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Rael would suck your dick with tahini on it, dog. That should be. That would be crazy. <laughs> but if you had to, uh, if you would you rather be made love to by either a stranger on the streets of Portland <laughs> forcing themselves upon you? If it was me, <laughs> which would be more uncomfortable? Portland. I'm your boy. Portland. Portland. Yes. Wait, and, and, am, am I the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> in both cases? Yeah. In both cases, I'm the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How big his dick was? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> man? I don't know, bro. I feel like if you fuck me, <laughs> and I would. Yeah. I don't know, but the thing is, bro, like you would always like hang that shit over my head. That's how I would do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, let me ask you that same question. That's not fun. Come up with your own. No! Yeah, man. Man, if you were, if you were to uh, have sex talk. Okay. By either a stranger on the street uh, don't do it. Or the British dude over there. Oh, that dude for sure. Oh, yeah. Fun facts. Fun fact. When a British dude comes inside you, it's called a shepherd's pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's bloody well good, isn't it? That's bloody well good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in it. It's in, it's in it. I was trying to figure out how to put brush in there, but I couldn't. <laughs> I'm still thinking. I can't. I'll think. I'll think of something. You that's, will. That's oh, you will. Oh, yeah. At some can point. I, can talk about, oh, she's not here. I'm wish, wish she gets back. I'm talking about this. You guys call him Danny Wright. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Fuck you. <laughs> His hair took a Brexit. Does your shirt say I eat ass? <laughs> what, what's your ethnicity? Filipino? Who are you here with, man? Your lady? Hi. Does she, um. <laughs> Hilarious! He goes. <laughs> but the look on his face was like, I've asked. <laughs> Where'd y'all meet? At work? It's wildly inappropriate. Where do you work? Uh, forklift a forklift company. Nice. And now she's the one carrying loads. Isn't that crazy? Huh. Good for you. <laughs> and you bring his lunch to work every day. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> oh, at a construction site? Good. If she acts up, you can bury this bitch under some concrete. <laughs> he just leaves the ass uncovered. And he's like. Ah. You're not afraid of ghosts and monsters? What are you afraid of? Taco Bell? <laughs> you know those toilet seat covers that you use in the public bathroom? I imagine he just puts it on as a bib. <laughs> she comes home and just flap down. Y'all giving energy like he didn't wear a shirt that said it on it. Some of y'all giving the energy like you asking too many questions. I was given way too much information, dude. Of course I've got questions. Let's reverse it. Do you know what her biggest fear is? Losing her kids. Losing her kids. Like at a Walmart or permanently? Okay, got it. No, that's valid. You have kids? You're a grandma? That's crazy. Damn, <laughs> hey, hey, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Just so happens one of my favorite meals is Filipino leftovers. <laughs> That's crazy. The kids is a, is a big one. Do they, do they live nearby? You get to see them pretty often? They live with you? That's an issue. <laughs> By the time they have kids, they gotta get their shit together. Tell them to get out of the house. You don't mind them living with you? You do and you don't. I am putting on her spot. This is the kind of question she should be asking herself. <laughs> Maybe you can ponder next time you get in your ass. Hey, you can just kind of. <laughs> Is your birthday? Mm -hmm. You got a little sash on? I didn't have a crown, but it was hurting my head. 
You have a crown, but it was hurting your head? Yeah. Be stronger. <laughs> can I see the crown? She can, she can give it to me. Don't shoot her. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, shit! Oh, man. Oh, man, look at that. I'm the mayor of San Francisco. Look at that shit. And if you're offended by that, let it go, let it go. The gays never bothered me anyways. <laughs> you guys going out after this, or is this the birthday celebration? This is the birthday celebration. This is it? This is a 7 o'clock event. You gotta, get, you gotta go out and get fucked up after this. That's so exciting. You what now? You work for a living. You work for a living? <laughs> Bitch, what do you think I'm doing? You think I'm up here having fun? You think this is fun for me coming out here, hee hee, ha ha, telling traumatic family stories about getting caught jerking off? You think this is fun for me? What do you do? I'm an EMT. You're an EMT? Ooh, a hero. <laughs> Fuck. Is your friend's birthday as well? No. What's, that? What's her sash? Dancing Diva. Dancing Diva? I don't like that. Uh, you dance? Sometimes. What about for twenty dollars? No? Good. It's way too much. Okay. It was the only sash left, is that what you said? You know you don't have to wear a sash for her birthday, right? That's such some girl shit to do. If you don't dance, best friend, what do you what do you, what do, you do? Well, are you talking about profession or just hobby life? We'll start with profession. You're paramedic as well. Oh, nice. You guys both saving lives. Good for y'all. Now, what's this hobby? Uh, mountain biking and rock climbing. Mountain biking and rock climbing. Oh, you didn't say you were a lesbian. That's awesome. That's so cool. Mountain biking was a dead giveaway. Dude. What age were you when you shifted gears? Hey, do you have pegs on your mountain bike? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? Hmm? Where'd you meet your boyfriend? You in the fur hall, you didn't hear me? <laughs> he has hearing aids. You have hearing aids too? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that is one of the more beneficial STDs you could have. <laughs> you don't have a boyfriend? You got it right, she's lesbian. Shut Wait, up. Wait, you're really a lesbian? <laughs> Shut up, for real? Oh, you didn't say it was a mountain dike. I mean, uh, uh, a mountain bike. Don't laugh, dog. You security. You're supposed to be able to straight right now. Bro, do you have on a cowboy hat? You waited a second like there was anybody else who was even possibly wearing a cowboy hat. What's your name, man? Who are you here with? My wife. What's your name, wife? Cassandra. Cassandra. Nice to meet you. Does he wear this all the time? You got used to it. Isn't that what marriage is all about? You meet somebody and you get used to it. No. Do you have a, a cowboy job? No. Uh, firefighter. You're a firefighter? <laughs> when was the last fire that you fought? Literally yesterday? Man, I would love to believe you were white before you went in. <laughs> and your name was Tyler. It was hot as a bitch in there, and he came out and he was like, it's Tyrone. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Oh, firefighters are so cool. You ever been in a calendar? <laughs> no? Bro, what's your station called? Station two. Station two. Station two, gotta come out with a calendar, man. You, you gotta do February. <laughs> it's Black History Month, in case you go. God, that is embarrassing for y'all. Fuck. <sighs> hey, Cassandra, what do you do? You're a teacher? Man, isn't that crazy that that's way more dangerous than what he does? 
What do you teach? Like, what, what grade? I'm with infants. You're with infants right now? You a babysitter. <laughs> Cowboys. Huh? What'd you say? Cowboys. Cowboys. Why are you singing it? What in the Dixie chick is going on right now, dude? <laughs> you got hair under there? Yeah. Nah, nah you ball? Oh, you hat fishing. <laughs> it does look clean. Think about it. This has nothing to do with you, bitch. <laughs> nothing to do with you, bitch. Guys, ready? Nothing to do with you, bitch. Nothing to do with you, bitch. That was fire! Do <laughs> you have any other tattoos? Uh, I got a few, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite one? Uh, probably... Take your time. <laughs> you know the Spotify one. Spotify. Yeah, you got your phone on you? Or you got the phone. You got Spotify. <laughs> is it a QR code? It is. What? <laughs> no way. Okay, so uh, let's see if you scan it over it. Right oh, it's over a sound wave. Oh, yeah. here we go. That is fucking awesome. That that is one of the better tattoos I've ever seen. Man, the only thing that could be better than that is, bro, if you had a swastika on the other arm. Because here's the thing: we all love him, but we'd be so conflicted, wouldn't we? If he was a Nazi this whole time, you don't have any hair. I'm not making a ball joke. I'm making a Nazi joke. What a dilemma we would have. Man, if he hated black people but loved NSYNC, you guys wouldn't know what to do. Are you, are you single? Uh, about to be. About to be? You getting divorced? Getting divorced. Nice, man. Does she like the tattoo? No. She doesn't like it? I hope this bitch dies. I, would I hope you get the house. I hope you get the dog. I hope you get, do you have kids? Uh, Step kids, they're not mine. Step kids? I hope she has to keep those kids. <laughs> Man. This is just your, your boy, Blake? Yep. What's your name, dog? Joshua. Joshua, pleasure to meet you. You got some ink too, man. What's your favorite one? Uh, my favorite song or tattoo? No, no, so I'm sorry. Favorite tattoo? Uh, Thundercats. Your what? Thundercats. You got Thundercats on your leg? Yes. That is awesome and super lame at the same time. <laughs> you got to right down the middle, too. Because they were supposed to be Transformers. You were going to get Transformers on the other side? Man. I feel like me talking about pussy earlier is as close as you've gotten. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Thundercats and Transformer? <laughs> Bro, how much money... Like, real talk. All right. How much money to get you to tattoo the sound bite <laughs> of this bitch's laugh? <laughs> talk to me for real. Like, I'm in sales. I don't know what's on the table here. Like, what are we offering? You, all right, you're in sales. You're wondering what I'm offering you? I'll show your friend what titties look like. <laughs> Be a good friend, dog. <laughs> How 
How much money to kill her? How much? Talk to me for real, okay? Hear me out. Two titties. You can have a half hour in the back room and we'll talk. Half hour? You think you're gonna last half an hour? Man, that'd be rude as fuck. You buy, you buy your friend a prostitute, but he's like, for the hour, and like two minutes in, he comes out, and he's like, all right. I'd be so fucking mad. Like, you know, you get in there, and you learn that young woman's life. <laughs> you ever seen Thundercats? <laughs> yeah, no, it was gonna be Transformers. <laughs> What's that one? You made this one? I did. Now, wait, hold on, hold on a second. Now, relax. I don't know where his mouth has been. <laughs> I know where it hasn't been. Walk up to her first. I dumped water on her head. You d bitch! Oh! You said you dumped water on her head? What, was she on fire? Why the f- You're my friends and I wanted to get her attention. Hold the goddamn phone. She was surrounded by friends at a party, and your opening line was H2O, bitch. That's what you heard. Now you wet, bitch. Now you wet. I told you I could make you wet. <laughs> Damn, you just dumped water on him, and you're with him? What type of low self-esteem? Exclusively dated women, which I get is confusing by the everything. And the only reason that I think people would believe that I've exclusively dated women is because I wear so much flannel, they must think, oh, he's a lesbian. You're single? No. You're married? Yeah. Where the fuck's your wedding ring? In my pocket. Why? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna lose it. No, I say it. <laughs> Why is it in your pocket? Why is it on your finger? Wow. Comfort. Com oh, these, m oh, these <laughs> men with the, oh, I don't like having a little ring on my finger. It hurts my finger. Yeah. Yo, men are trash. Men are straight up trash. You guys not allowed to watch porn here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Yes. 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 If I'm telling you, you can't. Yeah, you have to create an account. Which, if you have a Pornhub account, you're a monster, dog. You should not be in a position to leave reviews. Oh, we're ready for this? What? Dear user. <laughs> It should say, hey, bro, is how it should start. As you may know, your elected officials in Virginia are required to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. Website, get the fuck out of here. It's not a, it's not a yeah, you're not, you're not it's a dot org. org. Yeah. Yeah. While safety and compliance is the forefront of our mission, what were y'all jerking off to? <laughs> yeah, what happened in Virginia that your officials were like, we gotta stop this? <laughs> Oh, hey, too many school shootings. <laughs> <laughs> he said too many school shootings. <laughs> ah! Please contact your representative before it's too late. <laughs> you gotta call a guy and be like, "Hey, man, knock it off." <laughs> I'm trying to come over here. How no, no, you call? You call your representative? Just leave you right now. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm in fucking Florida drinking hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> West Virginia would never. <laughs> to be fair, that's not a website, it's a family photo. Yeah, Facebook. <laughs> Just dentist magazines. <laughs> oh, God. You live together? Okay, let him go! Time I really tried to date, I was in the sixth grade. And uh, the problem is, is that... and I also don't know why I look like this was taken in a hostage situation. <laughs> but it does. Y'all are adorable, man. <laughs> how, how, how long y'all been together? Uh, seven, eight years. Seven, eight years? I, I am a football player, female football player. You're a female wow. football player? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what is that? For me? Shut up. Yeah. What? 
Thank you, babe. Shut the fuck up. Is this the is the Cincinnati chaos? Columbus, Columbus chaos. No fucking way. So it's like it's like an indoor like arena league. No, it's outdoor. The outdoor? Oh, that's fucking awesome. What's um what neighborhood park do y'all play at? You know what's crazy? When I when we were just in Omaha a couple of days ago, and somebody brought up that they they have an arena team there called the Omaha Beef. And I was and I was curious. I was like, is, I was like, is there is there a women's team? And they said there used to be. It was like the Omaha Hearts. And I just I kept thinking about how much of a missed opportunity it was to not call the women's team the Omaha Beef Curtains. Like how this is fucking awesome, man. Hold on a second, man. Man, I just, I've had this on for five seconds. I already feel, I already feel like I deserve less pay. This is crazy, man. <laughs> it's no pay? You gotta pay to play. You have to pay to play? Man. <laughs> that is the worst possible scenario. But you do it because you love it. What position do you play? D-tackle, O-line. Man, it's crazy, because you look like you hate sax. <laughs> That's been... <laughs> what are you thinking? I think we go for two. <laughs> We've been going for one, but I think we can go for two. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I, I, lo I love you get to play a sport still for fun as an adult. That's, oh, that's the dream. Well, there are bigger dreams, but <laughs> gotta be a realist at some point. Do you guys get like a? You guys get a championship and everything? Yeah, check out on ESPN two. On ESPN two? No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let me know when the playoffs are. I want to place bets. Okay. <laughs> Y'all got any trans players? <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> Cha ching. They're switching up on defense. <laughs> and a couple as well? Oh, man, gay couple and a lesbian couple? Oh, shit. You guys don't even know each other? Wow, this club should be sued. They made a section? How long have you guys been together? Eight years. About the same? It feels like it didn't work out between y'all and y'all. And you were like, you know what? Hmm. Your store, where'd you guys meet? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? That's so gay. That's so gay. You can't even go to Puerto Rico and not fuck a dude. Like, even they're sexy. They're just sexy over there, man. You're both from there? Oh, man, you guys are worn out. Fuck. I admire both your strengths. And what do you guys do now? You're the teachers? What, what do you teach? Uh, U.S. History in high school. U.S. History? Yeah. You teach U.S. History? <laughs> That's a job I didn't think immigrants would even want. <laughs> because you teach it the right way. You're right. You gotta get fired immediately. This is where I'm gonna feel bad. <laughs> Fuck! I never thought of it like that. You're gonna tell the real history. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. I can't I can't stop thinking about if they fought. That's why she plays professional football. Well, she plays football. She gave me a fucking mean machine jersey, dog. From the longest yard. She will fuck you up, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She wouldn't fight fair either. She'd be like, let me get the strap. <laughs> the strap, like a gun, how rappers be saying, yeah. Put a strap on, whatever you have. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. If, if, was, if that was on the table right now, who would have this baby right now? <laughs> Set up, bitch, run up. I'm about to put you through a combine, girl. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs>
But she gotta, to get to the bed, she gotta go through tires. <laughs> so if you guys have a lady, you gonna do like the whole like, you know, like turkey bucks and turkey things. <laughs> but if you could, it would be better just to, you know. <laughs> You know, do you actually, do you know? Do you, <laughs> hey, this free range. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows each other? We do. Two and two. We're married and we're mother and daughter. Gotcha. Okay. Married, mother, daughter. Good for you. You both in my age range. No, they're not. They're not even in your weight class. <laughs> what is your ethnicity? That's uh, hot so People want to know what you are so they can know how to hate you. Yeah, that's a good point. Wow. I'm whatever you need. I'm whatever you need. That's so funny. I was on the Latino Comedy Slam. I was on BDT. You did Latino Comedy Slam? Yeah, I did a Latino thing. I did a black thing. I did, listen, this is great for Hollywood. Whatever you need. The only place this isn't good is prison because I wouldn't know what game to go. Oh, yeah. Who would you choose? Whoever was winning. <laughs> I would bomb. <laughs> Where's your husband? Not here. <laughs> He's a really uh, It's a him. She's not here either. <laughs> You have kids? Know How many kids do you have? A boy and a girl, three and a one year old. A three and a one year old? You should be at home. <laughs> Those are babies. No, you got it like that. Ruined yeah. the family since 1980. Yeah, she got a diaper on right now. I got to be a She goes, here, put your number in here. And hands me a baby monitor. <laughs> How many months are you? I'm curious. Five months, and you're out like this? You're not sick or anything? Can I get you a drink? No. <laughs> you look great though, it's good. Pregnancy looks good on you. Who's the, who's the, who's the father? Oh, well, say it. Oh. Cole. Cole? What's his last name? Oh, he sounds like a fuck boy. Oh, Cole? No, yeah, bad. for sure. His last name bad. What's his last name? Can I spell it? No, I'm just saying. No, no. Yo. I hope it's the N word. <laughs> Oh, no. I hope, I hope. I'm gonna need you to put some pads on, bitch. Y'all got a drill to run. Y'all got. <laughs> oh, the homework drill, bitch. Right. Who know her family's basically that they like saying it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Never calls him Cole. It's Mr. Yeah. <laughs> every, every time. <laughs> Engage. What's your name? My name's Kaylee. 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 You, well, you can say it. I think. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. What am I doing with that? Aliens. Aliens is a similar concept. I also, do you believe in aliens? No. no. What? No. no. Dude. Now they teach American history, dog. First off, no, you're not at church. I am sorry, but I know what I look like, okay? I'm acutely aware. If I come up here with an acoustic guitar, it's over. Yeah. How great is our God? Like, you can... You guys can see it, and I, I get it. You guys are, like, cute together. How'd you meet? Her brother's mine. Would I love to be a fly on the wall when you had to tell him? Is she the little sister? You're naughty. You guys are naughty. <gasps> you know how like in an airport, if a guy's your age, like you're gonna you wanna fuck him? That's just how it is. If I have an older brother and he has a friend, they're immediately hotter. 
because they're the older brother's friend. What are you guys? Yeah. Wait, you are so good at answering questions. Normally I have to pry people, and I actually don't trust you. Um. <laughs> Has, has anybody here ever, ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Yeah. What, what did you experience? Uh, I went to a haunted house where I grew up in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, which is very haunted. Now when you say a haunted house, you make a Halloween one or like no, a no, legitimate haunted house? No, like a house that was like owned by the Ku Klux Klan at one point. Oh, oh, oh those weren't ghosts. <laughs> actually much scarier and uh, they don't like shadow people either so i was going up to the house and there looked like there was an old man in the window i bet there was um, i turned around to tell my friends about it and i turned around and he was like gone and so i thought it was a ghost it, i just felt a very haunted feeling y'all thinking i'm crazy or something but i didn't feel haunted okay? no they think you're racist they don't think you're racist I don't think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You're, you're just fine. It's okay. Totally different thing. Different, different thing to be ashamed of. It's all right. So did you get a chance to go inside the house? No, I ran from that house. You're probably not the first person. So I'm, I'm glad that you are a believer and, and back me up. The ghosts are fucking scary. <laughs> Monsters are scary too. I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to negate. That's not a real one. <laughs> Some monsters are fucking real. I'm defending you. You went to their house. <laughs> People are monsters. Hey man. Uh, hog bitch. Hog bitch. That's your name. <laughs> What's your name? Man? What is it? Blair. Blair Stickle Hog Bitch. Stickle Hog Bitch. Blair. It's your last name. Witch Project? That fucking sucks. That name sucks. And what's your last name? Goldstein. Goldstein? Fuck. I'd fucking change my name to Papa John's Fuck You. That's what I just. Anything's better than Blair. What'd you say? Blair Jewface? What'd you say? I'm a Jew. Everyone calm down. How do you feel about the alien information that came out? Okay, this is a good one. Does anybody actually give a shit when they saw it? How can you not? No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. Bro, they confirmed aliens are real. The fact that you guys are even still at a comedy show right now is insane. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Why you all aren't building bunkers right now doesn't make sense. I'm on your side. What? Yeah, because hey, duh. The, the analogy I actually heard was the concept that Think about why we don't talk to ants, right? Like they're so underdeveloped yeah. as creatures. It's like, you know, you can't really have a, you can't really communicate with them. I don't think aliens think we're even ready to meet them. No. And we're not. Imagine aliens come down and are like, men and women of Earth, and somebody's like, some of us are neither. Are you guys like just friends? Wait, so you're just like, you just like each other's personalities. No, we're friends, we're friends. So you are not attracted to her? Oh, you are attracted to her. Oh, so you're waiting for her to one day be like, have a couple too many drinks and be like, you're cute. <laughs> are you in the friend zone? Oh, you're chilling. Okay. That is different. That is different. That is different. Chilling and friends are very different. Do you know the difference between chilling and friends? Are you her friend? Are they chilling? <laughs> We're fucking! Yeah! Wait, okay, look at me, look at me. Don't ever fucking lie to me again. <laughs> I've exclusively dated women, I know women that have exclusively dated men. It feels like within like a week and a half of exclusively dating one gender, you just get frustrated with that gender. Like women are like men, and men are like women, and then gay men are like men, and then lesbians are like, it's going pretty well. <laughs> Good for them. Glad someone's nailing it, I guess. That's poor choice of words. Um, uh... 
How are you still talking? <laughs> this is a live performance. This has nothing to do with you, bitch. <laughs> nothing to do with you, bitch. Guys, ready? Nothing to do with you, bitch. <laughs> nothing to do with you, bitch. <laughs> that was fire! <laughs> What's your name, bro? Corey. Corey? It's a very white name. Um, it's short for something. It's, it's short for something? It's short for What's it short for? Actually, it's still very white. Even what it's short for is white? It's Cornelius. Cornelius? <laughs> Yo, what? Bro, you can't even say the N-word, if I'm being honest. You can't. You don't get to say it. Cornelius! <laughs> Ain't that the motherfucker from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Who's like, SILVER! <laughs> Dog, your credit score 900. Shut up. Oh my god. It throws them for a loop. It, does, it throws everybody for a loop. How many job interviews have you gotten over the phone? You've never been declined? That's why. Enjoy white privilege, Cornelius. <laughs> it ain't so bad, right? It's kinda cool. <laughs> I fuck with you, Corey. My dude. What do you do for work? I work for the Water Authority. Did you go to college for that? Nope. You didn't go to college? There's the black. <laughs> I did go to school for a little bit to be a cop, though. He went to school to be a cop. A back bit. to white. <laughs> Interesting. And why'd you, why'd you bow out? Politics, and I was a better criminal. <laughs> I asked him why he stopped going to training to be a cop. And he goes, politics, and I was a better criminal. Back to black. <laughs> Who are you, Cornelius? <laughs> You're a mystery, bro. I feel like if we smoke together, I'll be like, are you even really here? Like if TikTok became a person, bro, you look fucking. You look fucking. You look like you like jerk off to a ring light. Like you love that shit. Oh, it's all in a circle. Ah! Are you a TikTok guy? No. What? Good luck on the stage. Put, oh, put him on the stage. Yeah. No. What kind of suggestion is that? on like an airplane being like, hey, let him fly it. <laughs> let him fly it. Let him wake up. You were the pilot. What's your name, man? Max. Mac. This guy still wants him on the stage. <laughs> this guy really wants you on the stage. That motherfucker, he wants to see you, bro. <laughs> that guy desperately, when he's like, oh, TikTok is a person. And hopefully he takes his shirt off. <laughs> Drive him in a fucking tank? Like what? What branch? Army. What? Army. Yeah, let's boo the people protecting us. Let's do that. Uh, woke up. Had a, uh, a couple meetings, and then uh, and I joined the army. Consensual sex with somebody. So that was a pretty productive day. Uh, well, sorry to hear about your car. I just got married um, to an older man, to a zaddy. Any zaddies in the crowd? Hi, zaddy. I see you. Zaddy. I mean, you just have a beard, but. Zaddy! Are you two together? Yeah. Hi, Zaddy. How many dates have you been on? We got a fresh one, guys. We got a fresh one. What do you like about her? <laughs> okay, she said she agreed to come, and that's giving Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. <laughs> Just watch your drink, babe. Watch your drink. Um... 
after watching Jeffrey Dahmer, like anyone could give me a drink. My own mom, and I'm like, what'd you put in that? Um, okay, well, how's it going? Like, what are the vibes? You shared fries. Oh. Uh, you don't have to show me, I don't care. Um, why are you single, sir? You guys are both so at, bad at answering questions. I swear to God, maybe you're perfect for each other. <laughs> he said you threw me off since you called me a zaddy. Sir, you are zaddy, all, you are zaddy vibes. You can take care of her? Zaddy. <laughs> Do you have a house in the Hamptons? Okay. Zaddy in training. <laughs> Your shirt say build a bear my ass. <laughs> and there's another piece of paper underneath that says squeaky titties ain't got nothing. <laughs> is there more? God damn, bitch, tweet me this. This is so much. Ain't got nothing on a purring pussy. Can you? Bitch, this is an essay. You guys can't see it. She's tearing away one paper at a time. Oh, you can see it. Oh, fantastic. Autograph my vagina. <laughs> now that was fucking funny. Her shirt says, the layer of jokes. Oh my God. What is your name? Dee Dee? Like double D? Wow, wow, wow. How old are you, Dee? You're 60? Get the fuck out of here! That's why the font was so big, huh? <laughs> she, she couldn't read her own shit. <laughs> One of them said, autograph my pussy with your dick. <laughs> You're 60, Dee Dee. Who else's name is on there? Fucking Honest Wagner? Only the dudes get that as a baseball reference. Very old, very old baseball player. How do you autograph a 60 year old's pussy? With like a feather and ink? What's that? What'd you say? The fuck? Calm that down, calm that down. Do you have a kitty noisemaker in your outfit? Where is it? It's in your city? Shut up! Can you play it? You play it into this. Yes. <laughs> Come on! It's a pussy. Come on! Even sixty-year-old pussy needs help making noise. That's impressive.